here we have database named as SZ e-commerce okay we are using this particular database under this database we have sales tables as a schema okay and in this schema we have this table order items okay now if we want to select all the columns in select query okay then we can run this particular query select star from sales table dot order items let's run this query and we can see that our query is executed successfully by getting 4722 rows and all the columns are printed over here order id item id product id quantity product price discount okay now if we want only selected columns from this list then we can go with this particular query where we are just selecting two columns product id and quantity and if we run this particular query we will get the result like this where we are getting product id and quantity if you see row number rows are same okay because we are not applying any kind of filter on rows now next part is except so as we discussed in our session except is used to exclude few columns but here ex except function is not supported in sql server to exclude the columns over here we need to mention all the columns in select clause which we wanted in our sql result set okay now let's move to select top clause so here we have written a query select top 5 star from order item table so what it will do it will select top 5 records from this table let's run this one you can see top 5 records are printed over here now let's move to second SQL query select top 2 with ties star from this table order by product price descending so what will happen over here sql will re return the result on the basis of order by product price and that is again descending order okay so if we print this particular result let's copy and paste here so this output is printed on the basis of product price in descending order so first of all 36200 something value is there then 22000 then 19000 19, something so this is the descending order uh, we got from this sql query okay we have executed it only to check this order by clause okay now what happened here it also applies ties so if we say top two just top two then it's supposed to provide these two records okay but it is also showing ties so there are ties so how many ties are there so this is one tie this is second tie this is the third tie okay now top two with ties uh, they have mentioned so even though there are two records over here but they in that particular tie there is one more record as well okay and that's the reason if we run that this query it should return three records so let's run this one and check you can see three records are printed because in that particular tie we have three records
okay now select top 1% so we can also use this top along with percentage so top 1% so it is not checking how many records are coming so let's say suppose there are 4000 something records uh, records was there so out of this 4000 records it will provide 1% records so if we run this one we will get the result like this is one so there are around 48 percent uh, sorry 48 rules we are getting in one percent okay so that's all about this top one so what we discuss in top we get top records on the basis of number of rows top records on the basis of number of rows with ties and top records on the basis of percentage now let's move to distinct part so in this distinct we are doing select distinct star so we have applied this distinct on all the columns that's the reason we have provided star and if we run this one we are getting this many records okay 4722 records are there which are distinct now if we apply this distinct on specific column that is product id then if we run this one we are getting only 307 records okay we can also apply this distinct on multiple columns like product id order id if we run this we will get 4722 rows and two columns okay so what are the things we discuss in distinct we can apply distinct on all the columns on single column as well as on multiple columns okay now let's move to distinct versus group by if we run this one we will get unique product id that is 307 rules same thing if we run this group by query we can see there are 307 rows and same result is provided by group by if we check execution plan of this particular query we can see it is doing select then hash map that is aggregation and then cluster index scan okay 63 percent cost is there and 37 cost is for this particular operation same thing if we do for this group by query we are getting same same execution plan that is select hash map that is aggregation with 63 percent and 37 for cluster index plan okay so here we can say that both the sql statements are providing same execution plan also providing same result set then which one we supposed to use as discussed earlier we should always go with distinct we can use group by only if we want to use aggregate function in our sql select query and those aggregate functions are like average mean max sum and we can apply this on top of some column like uh, product price okay and if we run this one we'll get accordingly some result now here you can see that no column name is there so to provide the column name we can give alias like average price okay and just run this one and we will get the result okay so that's it for this particular video thank you so enjoying this video subscribe to our channel for more exciting content like this don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified whenever we post a new video thanks for watching